Welcome to this new course session. In this section, we will talk about the mixer. The mixer is probably the, the main area in Cubase where all the sounds are blended uh, together. To open the mixer window, we have to go to the devices menu and select Mix Console. As you can see, F3 is the function key that allows us to open the mixer window as well from the keyboard. So let me open the window, and here is the mixer window. Let me close the arranger so we can better focus on the mixer window. So this is the mixer, and here you can see already some tracks because we have created a groove and some audio tracks have been created in the arranger. But basically, let's start from the beginning and from the setup window, let's open the channel selector tab, where as you can see, we have a list of all the available audio track we have already created, plus the stereo in and the stereo out. If you remember from devices, VST connection, the stereo in is exactly the stereo input bus, and the stereo out is the output bus. Both of them connected to the physical input and output of the audio card. So, from the visibility, we can have the ability to hide specific tracks. As you can see, now we have only the stereo in and the stereo out track available in the mixer. So, the visibility is our secret weapon if we need to hide or show specific tracks. With the zone tab, we can separate, for example, the stereo in and the stereo out from the rest of the tracks in the arranger. So this is a very useful function because it allows us to specify a zone for specific tracks uh, rather than others. Let's go ahead and let's have a look at the find track function where we could find and select specific tracks from the same menu. Okay. And Going ahead, we have the filter channel types. So, as you can see, we have several kind of channels type, but right now we have only used audio channels. As you can see, there are other kind of channels, for example, an instrument channel, a MIDI, group FX, VCA, and other. And we are going to have a look at uh, those kind of tracks later on. So, from the configuration, it's possible to save, add a configuration and to store the visibility of the mixer so we can recall it uh, when needed. And right here, we have the possibility to customize the visibility of channel in the mixer window. Probably your mixer right now is not uh, showing the same things, probably because you have to show the rec extension. If I press this button, as you can see, the mixer is now showing a lot of interesting uh, features. So, uh, as you can see, we have the routing, so we can choose where to record our audio source and where the output goes of that channel. And we have insert EQs, channel strips and sense. We are going to talk about them later on. So now from the racks, as seen for the tracks, we can choose what to see in the uh, in the rack. So, for example, if I disable the insert, the insert tab will disappear. Okay, so we can customize what to see in the mixer. We have here some transport button. We have the same function in the uh, transport bar, for example, by pressing F2. Here we can uh, activate or deactivate all mute, solo and other states. Those are for the automation. We are going to talk about automation later on. And this is a general enable or disable function for all the channels. So from here we can disable all the mute for all the muted channels in the mixer at once. Same goes for the bypass button. Here we can bypass insert equalizers the channel strips, and all the sends. So, going ahead, we have 
we have the possibility to link uh, channels together or to group them or to assign them to VCA faders. VCA fader is a, a new function here in Cubase 8, so it's not available if you have Cubase 7 or 7.5. This is another interesting function. This is a quick link. We are able to select channels and link them together only by pressing a button. With the suspend button, we can suspend all channel linking. And with the absolute, we can force all linked parameter to the same value. So going ahead, we have the possibility to expand and shrink the channel size as well as the rack height or increase the rack height. As you can see for each channel we have the possibility to control the panning, the mute, the solo, the listen function this is used when you have a control room for example and this is an important function that allows us to open the edit window and we are going to talk about this window later on so let me close it for a while. So going ahead, we have the faders, the possibility to control the volume of the track. Here, as you can see, we have a peak value. You could click on it to reset peak value. If I press enter on the numeric pad of my keyboard, I will put Cubase in play and the peak value will be updated accordingly. So this is the peak value, not the RMS, what we are able to hear. But anyway, now for each channel, we can see the value of the fader. If I move the fader, you can see its value right here. And on the right hand side, we have the peak value in terms of decibels. For example, right here, the peaks has reached these values in terms of decibels. Going ahead, we have the possibility to enable the read automation and the write automation data, as well as the monitoring. Monitoring is an important function because it allows us to listen directly what's coming in through the physical input channel of our audio card. And the last one is the record enable. This button allows us to record an external audio signal through the input bus into this channel. So this is a general overview of the mixer. We are now going to talk about the edit channel in the next letter, so let's move on to the next video.